I'm going to show you the basics of audio editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get started. I've got a video right here ready to play. All right. Hi, Mike. This is a grand tour of um, our garden. Don't judge. It hasn't been a great year. We had lots of slugs. All right. So there's lots we can do with that. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and make sure this audio is a significant volume level. Uh, and by doing that, I can quickly get this to the correct level as all the other clips that I'm working on in a sequence by hitting the G key and simply normalizing the max peak to minus one dB. Now, if I had multiple clips, you see there, it's just raised the volume a bit. It'll make them all peak at the same level, which is a great starting point for my audio editing. So do that first. The next thing you can do is grab this handle down here, make your audio track a bit bigger. So not only can you see the waveform bigger, but you can also see here the volume control. So this will allow you to turn the volume up and down on your audio. Now I'm going to command or control Z to undo that uh, and leave it there at neutral. But say I wanted to change volume over time, I could add some keyframes by either holding down command or control. And I can paint on keyframes like this. And that's very handy because then I can fade that audio in at the start where obviously there's just background noise. And now we go silence and fade straight into dialogue. All right. Hi, Mike. This is a grand tour of um, our garden. Don't judge. And again, if I wanted to do the same thing and add more keyframes, command or control right here on the volume line. And I can then go ahead and make my changes just like so. I'll uh, put in another keyframe there and make that change there. And again, I fade out in between the speech. Our garden. Don't judge. It hasn't been a great... It's probably a little bit harsh, but you get the idea of what exactly is possible with this. I can also add effects to my audio. They're over here on the right-hand side. You'll see I've got Studio Reverb highlighted, so I can do this. Now, if you can't see the effects panel, uh, go to your window menu here and look for effects, show it up. Or if you just go to a different workspace, like, for instance, the effects workspace is a good one, then you can go ahead and type a search, like I've started searching reverb here. Drag and drop it onto the speech, like so. Edit it over here in the effect controls and you get the kind of sound you're going for so just here if I push that up a bit and change the decay a little bit we should hear a little bit of reverb on Isabella all right hi Mike this is a grand tour of um, our garden don't judge it hasn't been a great year we had lots of slugs <laughs> So you get the idea of what exactly is possible there. And a final pro tip, if you're kind of finishing up with your audio and you want to finalize all of the audio that's going into your video in Premiere Pro, I strongly recommend you actually change your workspace to the audio workspace and you get into the audio track mixer over here. And you'll see there are different channels. There's audio one, two, three, and four that correspond to one, two, three, and four here in your sequence. But as you'll see just down here at the bottom, there's a mix track and this mix track is important important well not so important at the moment but if I pop open this menu at the top left you'll see the mix track can have up to five effects applied to the overall mix so that means every track in your session gets a final bit of goodness a final bit of mic sparkle if you like and to do that I'm going to go to the first slot and I'm going to go ahead and add special and mastering and here I'm just simply going to double click this and this will apply to every single audio clip in your session remember that so it's got to be light I like to go for subtle clarity it's so subtle you may not hear too much of a difference all right hi Mike this is a grand tour of um, our garden that's with it applied without don't judge it has mean a great year so it just kind of makes the audio pop out and it kind of masters your overall sound another good one to add to the mix channel as well actually as a little bonus if you've watched this far in the video you deserve it if you go ahead to special and go for the loudness meter you can double click to open that and you can check you're meeting your loudness standards so if you're uploading this to youtube check the youtube presets all right hi mike this is a grand tour of um, our garden and you'll see that that's probably too quiet for youtube at the moment according to the loudness meter so that's when we can go into mastering again and we can turn up the overall output gain to try and get closer to our target loudness. And that's how easy it is to make audio sound amazing in Adobe Premiere Pro. That's the basics of audio editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Maybe you want to go ahead and make your voice sound cinematic, then you should definitely watch the video. It's on your screen somewhere. Click it and continue to learn with me.